Hi, I'm Terry. And I get asked uh, many times, well, what do I use for picks? When I show up at a job site, I pull this out of my locksmith tools and it's just a little map expedition case. It's an EDC case. And in it, and this is what I do probably 95% of my uh, picking lockouts is just, I grab this kit, it's quick and easy. And just inside is, I'll show you what I got here. Now I have my latest little toy. I have my Nipix pliers, and these are handy, and they're, they're, they're narrow enough, sometimes I can get a broken key out of there. But this is for picking, I just grab this, uh, I can have this if I have to turn it. But the main th tools I use every single time, so my favorite pick is a hook pick with a diamond, and you know, some of these are Peterson's, Rytans, whatever, that's my favorite pick. This one's a little bit thicker, this one's a little bit thinner, and I always grab I prefer a, a rigid uh, tension wrench. And I also have a flexible, a flexible one. Uh, you see, I, I, bend the, I bend this whichever way I'm going. So, you know, this is, this is, these three things right here, I'd say open up 90, 90 95% of the, of the lockouts I have if I have to pick the lock. This is it, very simple. I either use a rigid, uh, a uh, flexible, and, a lot of times the locks will pick the wrong way. Well, I'm not going to repick it. I'm going to use my, my plug spinner. I call it a flipper, a plug spinner. I have a whole different types, different types of uh, spinners, but this is the one in my case. I have a bigger pick set that I, uh, I use if, if I'm just not picking it. And of course, uh, I always have a little can of WD-40 I use for picking locks, not for lubricating locks, for helping me to pick it. Uh, I, my friends all use TriFlow. Uh, and uh, I like using WD-40. I had a lock the other day, it was funny. Uh, it was a lockout, and it was a slage, slage, deadbolt, and they can be difficult to pick, and I was having no luck picking it at all, and then I just gave it like a little, little spray of WD-40, and it picked like in 10 seconds. Lubricant is extremely important for picking locks. I always try to pick a lock without using lubricant, and then if I can't pick it, then I'll spray it. Some guys will spray it with the lubricant right off the bat. Some locksmiths will just spray it right off the bat. I've had extreme luck. Sometimes you go there, the lock is just ready to pick. So by the time I apply tension, put the pick in and it opens. Uh, people ask about the technique. I'll show you in a couple of videos coming up, but uh, there's two techniques. There's the single pick method, which is the best method. Uh, and then there's raking, which works pretty, which works well. What I do is I rake the lock, put, apply tension, I rake the lock a few times, and then I'll single pin pick it. Uh, that seems to work really good for me. Uh, also, the, uh, don't be afraid to release tension. I'll uh, rake it, single pin pick it, and then I'll let go. And, and if I don't hear click, 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 means I, I'm not, I haven't applied proper tension. So one way of, instead of just picking away, some people are afraid to release tension, release the tension. Then you can see, oh, I picked a bunch. Or if you hear nothing, you don't hear the pins falling back in, then you know you get bad tension. But Back to the point, this is my everyday carry. If I show up at, uh, at a lockout, this is what I, I have in my kit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.